Do you sometimes find it difficult to come up with video topic ideas? I hear ya. In this video, I'm going to share with you the top 10 video topic ideas you can start using right away. My name is Sebastian Malinowski and I help real estate agents grow their business through marketing so they never have to do any old school prospecting again. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Now let's get on with the top 10 video topics. Now before we get going, I have to let you know there are three different types of videos you can shoot. Three different types of categories. The first one is evergreen, the second one is connection type video, and the third one is conversion type video. What's the difference? Here's a quick recap. By the way, if you go down to the description below, I'll put a link in there so you can actually get free training on this specific topic. So let's start with the evergreen content. Evergreen content is something in your neighborhood or a topic that is always there. For example, a neighborhood or a school, it's always there. Connection type of videos or content that you can release, that is meant to create a connection between you and your local market. That way you can gain your no like and trust factor. The conversion type video, that's the sexy one. That's the one that every real estate agent wants. That type of video is designed to create a lead. All right, now let's move on to the top 10 video top, top 10 video top, bleh. Okay, let's move on to the top 10 video topic ideas you can use as an agent. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Number one, interview local businesses or local entrepreneurs. The reason why you wanna do that is because they have a following. If you interview them, they can use that as a marketing piece. Well, what would happen if they sent that video out to their entire list of clients? That right there will give you exposure. Number two, interview local influencers. So that could be the mayor, that could be an actual YouTuber, that could be an Olympian, an athlete. When somebody sees you with a local influencer, it gives you instant credibility. Number four, past client interviews or testimonials. There's an old saying in business, if you say it, it's not true. But if your clients say it, it must be. Let someone else tell your community how awesome you are as an agent. Number five, real estate information videos. These are the how to's. That's what really got me off the ground years ago when I started shooting content in my local neighborhood. I just started creating how-to videos. What I would do is document every single question I was asked by my client, whether it's a buyer or seller. I would document it and guess what? That's a video topic idea. For example, how do I know when it's the right time to buy? How do I know if it's the right time to sell? How do I negotiate when I'm competing for that home? Etc. things like that. Number six, market update videos. Now these would be classified or considered as conversion type videos. While you're giving your local community the statistics on what's happening in the local market, you're also giving them your advice. That's key. Make sure that you give people your advice on what perhaps is going to happen in the future. How does that influence the buyer or seller or affect the buyer or a seller? And the key at the end is put a call to action. So for example, you can say, and if you want a report on what's happening in the market, go down below and download the PDF. Or what I've also done in the past, and this worked really well, is in the middle of my video, I would literally tell the viewer, pull out your cell phone and text this code or this word to this number and the latest market report will be delivered to you right away. Something to think about. Number seven, about me. This guy, well, not about me. About me videos. Do you have an about me video? If you don't, now's a good time. At the end of this video, hit stop and go record an about me video. Literally pull out your phone and just record. Now here's the key, don't just include professional topics. People wanna know who you are as a human being, so make sure you include a good mixture of professional and personal things in that video. Tell them what you do, what your hobbies are. Are you a family person or not? You know what I mean. Number eight, community events. Now there are two different types of community event videos you can do. 
One is, let's say you release a video on Thursday saying, here is an awesome event that I will be attending. Why don't you come and attend? I'll be there at five o'clock. So if you know somebody, maybe a local influencer who's putting on an event and you want to help them, well, you tell your community, by the way, here's an event happening Saturday at three to five or whatever the time is, and I'll be there at 4.30, things like that. Second type of community video would be a live video. Actually, while you're there, put it on Facebook. Number nine, neighborhood videos. That would be an evergreen type of video, things that people Google or search. When somebody Googles or searches, Googles, it's funny how you say Googles. If somebody searches for a specific neighborhood in your city, wouldn't you rather have your video come up on that search as opposed to an article from the city? I think I made my point. Number 10, here's a cool one. It's something out of the box and I love out of the box, viral trends. Yeah, I know they have nothing to do with real estate, but remember like the ice bucket challenge or the mannequin or, or the Harlem shake or Movember, things like that. Get in on the action. Show people that you're a fun person too. And the most important part is just be you. That's really what matters. It doesn't matter what type of video you shoot. The most important thing is just be you. Now you notice that none of these topics actually had to do with real estate, the typical ones we think of, an open house or a listing video. We all know that these two types of videos exist. If you wanna tack them on as number 11 and 12, be my guest, but I hope that this list helps you out. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it valuable. I do create more videos like this for real estate agents to help them grow their business through marketing so they never have to do old school prospecting. Consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and remember to look down in the description for a link to more helpful tips on creating content and creating more videos. Now before we get going, I have one more question for you. Have I covered everything? Is there a type of video that you have done that I haven't covered? If you have, please put it down in the comments section below. I would love to know what you've done. Anyway, that's it. I'm Sebastian Malinowski. See you tomorrow.